In the previous video, we concluded by dividing the class into five groups and providing each group with a guide map of the park and asking them to observe it carefully. Now, moving on with the activity, let's begin the discussion based on the observations made by the students. This will lead them to understand the concept of direction. Start by asking, what is on the right of the main gate of the park? Let the students respond. Following their responses, ask the students, what is exactly in front of the main gate? Accept all possible responses from the students. Mention clearly that the opposite of right is left. Next, ask the students to look at the sun to make them understand the four directions. Enquire with them. Do you know from which direction does the sun rise? Possible responses will be east. Following their responses, enquire which direction is exactly in front of the east? Possible responses will be west. Skills of critical thinking and decision making will be developed while students try to give possible responses. Similar questions can be asked for north and south directions. Mention to them that north, south and east, west are also opposite directions. Continue with the inquiries to lead to understanding of symbols. Ask them, compare both the guide map and the one made by you. Are they the same? Accept the possible responses. Inform them that the map they drew has a bigger picture of landmarks. But an actual map gives a minute depiction of a very large space. State that we can use the symbols to represent the landmarks in the map. Conclude by stating that now they will have to try to make a map just like we have shown them. We will now move on to explain the students how to relate commonly used larger and smaller units of length and convert one into another and estimate the measured distance and identify right angles in the environment through a hands-on activity. But all of this in the next video.